Well, so, you know, Hotbox Social here, you think about it as a, you know, marijuana lounge, similar to a cigar lounge, a hookah lounge, or your local dive bar, but instead of to uh, smoking tobacco or, you know, getting a beer or a mixed drink, you can legally toke up inside here at Hotbox Social. From edibles, vapes, to that joint of blueberry yum yum, and all of that other fancy stuff, you can finally smoke that dank kush in a place other than your own home. Think of it as a pot smoker's lounge off of Tucker and John R. called Hotbox Social. It's the first of its kind in the state, but there's a catch. You can't bring your own stash just yet. We're able to accept deliveries from any retailer in the area. Uh, we don't actually physically sell here. Uh, delivery drivers show up and um, uh, maintain the transaction inside where it's safe. Experts will also be on hand to teach those who are new users. The FDA has a certain recommendation about five milligrams or, or whatnot as, a, as an initial dose. We want to cut that in half and we'll probably float around the two and a half, two to two and a half milligram range um, for a first timer. Michigan becomes just the seventh state to allow these consumption lounges. We spoke with Andrew Brisbo, Michigan's top cannabis regulator, about this new concept in Michigan and how they're regulated. We saw a need for a way for social consumption to occur in a responsible manner, in particular so that we could ensure the safety of the employees working in those types of establishments. There's a lot of regulations. Two of them is getting local approval and then having a ventilation system with a lot of pull, if you catch my drift. Hotbox Social has several rooms like this large room, but then... This is the Hotbox room. So this room has the, the, the oversized ventilation where um, if we were to turn it off, you could easily Hotbox this room with four or five people. In the community, you can challenge a cannabis consumer to Hotbox anything. And you can also store your glass or your stash in these lockers. The whole lounge can fit up to 200 people, and we spoke to some in the neighborhood about it. You can consume, you, you know, people are doing what they want to. I don't like it, but, you know, I'm not in control of it. I mean, if there's a bar you can drink in, there should be a bar you can smoke in. The million dollar question is safety. We will have security here at any of the events. I don't think that, you know, this would be any more of a nuisance than the neighborhood bar. Now the billion dollar question is, how are they gonna be making money? Right now they don't know, that's still a concept, but you know, hosting those private, uh, having these private events here and charging for those, that's one way. But another way, these shipping containers that they have right here, well, they're gonna be going in and making this a kitchen and they're gonna be serving food, not just to, to the people who use the lounge, but also to the general public, but it's not gonna be anything, you know, uh, special if you, and get what I mean. Reporting in Hazel Park, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News.